Welcome to the EU City Calc, a web tool developed with the aim to support cities to create and implement their climate neutrality transition pathways. You will be able to perform real-time simulations and, regardless of your level of expertise, access directly the key measures and levers of the low-carbon transition. By following a few steps and selecting from measures like free public transportation, heat pumps in buildings or urban farming, you can visualise how your city's emissions change and compare them with its climate targets. Here is how. You will start at the Welcome page. Although the EU CityCalc tool is in English, here you can select your preferred language and visit the About pages. Here, you can click on Learn More to read the user guide and explore how to navigate through the web tool in more detail. Learn more about the project. If you want to get more insight about the EU CityCalc project or check our project partners page by clicking on their logo. To directly access the web tool, you must choose a city. The web tool includes two main pages, the dashboard and the pathways page. Both sections allow you to build and compare scenarios and visualize their impact on GHG emissions. Let's have a first look at this dashboard page. First things first, on the top left, you can always select a different European city to work with. And throughout these pages, you will see multiple question marks on different parts of your screen. You can click on them to learn more details about that specific part of the tool. Scrolling down, you will find the dashboard page's three main parts. Let's start with the first to appear, a comparison of various transition scenarios that have been pre-built. Here, you can compare the GHG emissions per scenario until the year 2050. You can also have a closer look at the reduction rate of each scenario by clicking on the different colours that represent higher or lower ambition levels. This second section allows you to delve further into one specific scenario and view the progress of the Sustainable Energy and Climate Action Plans CCAPs. You can do that by selecting one of the available scenarios to see the co-benefits and impacts on the total GHG emissions released. As an example, let's choose the ambitious scenario to visualise the different impacts of indicators such as costs, air pollution, water use and circularity on your scenario. Further down, you can see a graph that shows GHG emissions from the reference year, in this case 2015, and how much each measure would contribute to GHG decline by 2030 in your city. Then, you will be able to compare the result with your targets. At the bottom of the page, you can compare the total GHG emissions and the energy consumption by sector and between the base and the target year. You can also observe the estimated emissions caused by your city's activities outside of your territory. To the right, you can see the share of renewable energy produced in the base year and an expectation based on the transition scenario you have selected. If you are interested in diving deeper into the web tool references, data and beyond, you can access those categories from the bottom of the page or on the About section on the top right of the web page. There, you will also see the user guide with visual answers to most FAQs and the glossary which explains important acronyms and terms to better understand common keywords used in the web tool. Both sections are available in more EU languages. You can also watch this video to learn more about the Pathways webpage, the available data, and how to build and compare your own transition scenarios.